Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria and we're going to be showing you how to rebuild the Great Forge of Narvi. So if that doesn't sound at all familiar to you, maybe you're not far enough into the game. But it does happen relatively early. Basically, once you find the Elf Quarter, you are ready to rebuild this forge. And it's a great forge located at the back of it. And the reason you want to rebuild it is, well, there's two things. A, it's one of the Great Forges and you have to rebuild it to make specific items in the game. So some pretty cool weapons and stuff like that that can only be be made here the other one being this is how you proceed to the steel age in this game so if you want to upgrade from your basic iron stuff to your much more advanced steel stuff like the steel hammer which you need to fix the statues here in the elven quarter and the steel pickaxe which you need to mine anything more than coal and iron uh then you're going to want to fix this forge and it's actually a relatively straightforward process so i'm just going to walk you through it now it depends on your playthrough because i've had playthroughs where all of the parts are there and i've had playthroughs where one of them is either so well hidden that i couldn't find it or it's just missing and I had to make it. So you might need a bunch of iron for this, uh, but at the very least you're going to want to go into it with a sword and shield and if you're not very good at combat then I guess some armor and stuff like that. Maybe even some food, who knows. I've set up camp here in the Elven Quarter. I've made a rudimentary camp here. All of my stuff is still back at my base camp, but this is a good way to start this so that way if I need to do anything, need to make anything, I can just come right back out here instead of having to run all the way back to my original camp. So we're just going to go into it. Uh, at the map you can see this great big square so if we assume that this is the door of Durin over here uh, this first fire is our base camp where we started off or Ori's camp that is uh, or Ori's outpost then if we come down and through to the elven quarter it will be a great big square now your map might not look exactly like this but the elven quarter will always be a big square like this because it's always shaped like this and the forge is going to be down at the end so we're looking for this section uh, there are some orc encampments in here so if you haven't taken care of those there will be orcs in your way I've already taken care of them uh, we're going to be going back towards the forge so starting from the back right corner where I have my outpost set up I'm just going to head in through here and see, there we go. We've discovered the Great Forge of Narvi. You can see on the forge we have three highlighted yellow things. This one is a for a replacement crank. Then we can see up there there's a section of pipe missing and a gear. We're going to be looking for those items. And, and thankfully, the crank is sitting right here on the floor. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to walk it up and insert it into the slot that it goes in. So there we go. There's one of our missing parts. The gear was over here. And you can see that we have a missing gear lying down on the ground here. So we're going to grab that and we're going to walk it up. Uh, this one, the first two are very easy. The third one requires you to do a little bit of platforming, but it's actually also pretty easy, at least in my opinion. There, we've got two of the three parts replaced now. Now the third part is the one that can sometimes be missing. So we're going to look over here and oftentimes it'll be located on the ground over here. And it doesn't appear to be, but when it's not, don't give up and go make one yet because there's a really good chance that it's located out here in the entrance hall. So we'll go check there first. I, I, I think it might be. Look, pray. That's weird. Normally my character, ah, see, there we go. Here it is, section of pipe. So that's easy enough. So now we just gotta carry this all the way back. Uh, I'll probably just cut to it because this will be a long walk carrying this. Now that we've made it up the steps, you can see that we've actually got a gap in the steps that we need to walk. So we're going to throw the part up there and hope it stays up there. Sometimes it doesn't though. Just like this time. <laughs> and we're going to actually build some platforms so we're able to make it up there a little bit smoother. So I guess I should have said one thing that for sure you do want to bring is uh, wood so you can make these platforms. I'm going to go grab that part again and now I'm going to walk it up there again so that's fun. Aha. It's a little worried that it was going to drop again. But anyway, you just have to get the part up here, and then you replace it into the pipe. And that is all three of the pieces that we need for the forge. And there you go. 
Now we get to fight through a horde, and we unlock the Eregion Spear, the Steel Pickaxe, and the Steel Ingot. So let's just fight this horde. And once you've completed that horde, you can now uh, enjoy the fruits of your spoils. So if you see, like I said, it unlocks quite a few things. So if we pop into the furnace, you can see that we now have unlocked the ability to smelt steel ingots, and you can do that here, or you can do it at your regular furnace back at your base. You might need the bellows, but I don't think you do for the steel. Uh, then for our forge recipes that we've unlocked, the steel pickaxe, which is huge because now we can mine things at the tier 2 level and also much quicker at the tier 1 level. We also have the ability to forge new replacement parts for other forges. At the Kuzdul Forge, we unlock the ability to smelt the, or to forge the Eregion Spear, which is a tier 2 piercing one-handed weapon. It's actually quite useful. I quite like it, uh, especially because it's one-handed, so you can still use it with a shield. And speaking of shields, you can make the shield wall. I mean, you'll still need to unlock the ability to make bronze, but the shield wall is a masterwork shield. It's very, very good. Uh, so those are the things you can make here. And once you've uh, smelted your uh, steel ingot, which I can't do yet because I don't have the stuff for it, you'll unlock the ability to make other steel things like the hammer, which you'll need. So yes, that is how you uh, re or you fix and refire up the Great Forge of Narvi. I hope this video was uh, short enough and also entertaining and informative enough for anybody that would click on it looking for this topic. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.